Good morning. This is the 26th of August, and this is your crypto daily debrief. So we're going to dive into a few things. Sol's going up. I think it's going to go probably over 200 pretty soon. We've got plenty of opportunities in DeFi. There's also an earthquake that happened in Lisbon and more news as well. Let's dive in. So starting off, of course, with our pricing, having a look here, BTC is up 10% in seven days. It's, it's very, very healthy. Ethereum is lagging. I still just don't think it's going to be the cycle where Ethereum is the worthwhile trade. BNB is still doing relatively fine, but it's slightly down. And Solana is kind of kicking butts. However, it also fell pretty aggressively previously. It's sitting around $160. The next news here is the fact that there was a, an earthquake at 5.11 this morning, everything seems to be fine. There's no reports that I can tell of like any, you know, damage or injuries. It was 5.4, uh, but everything's okay. Just a little bit tired, which is why if someone says that I look tired, I'm not enthusiastic enough. I'm plenty, there's plenty of enthusiasm, but sleep is important. Okay. First bit of news, Camino, it's time. 100 million PYUSD borrow capacity is now available on Camino. If you're watching this live stream and if you've got two windows and you want to grab some, go and grab it. I've mentioned this before it's a it's hundred million so we've got there's a decent amount to kind of chew through but it's available against soul as a collateral um it says it will be scaled aggressively starting today so this is what it looks like just because i still get quite a few questions asking how do we do this you jump into you connect your soul flare everyone should be using soul flare what i have in here this is completely just random assets you have to supply only solana not Gito soul not inf just only solana and then you can take out that loan with pyusd it's no longer sitting at 1.5 percent it's gone up but it's still a decent rate and this is good because now we can actually start to use this and this has been scaled up to 1 million and i don't know if this if we can just jump in and take 100 million right now either way this is what i'm borrowing it is the decent one. So do that if you're not using PYUSD. And also, if you've got like a massive USDC or USDT loan, what I've been doing is I've just been borrowing PYUSD, swapping it on dupe with, you know, decent, like very close slippage, like 0.1%, repaying down the USDT and so on. And if you're borrowing like 50K, like I've mentioned before, you'd be saving thousands and thousands a year. All right, now onto some actual kind of crypto news. So sometime in quarter four, GBTC will be irrelevant and FTX bankruptcy payments will start being dispersed. And then all of a sudden, things will start to go up. I've seen quite a few reports. I don't want to just bore everyone with them on BTC, but I've seen reports of people I trust that now they think retail is not interested and they're going to be swept away. They're still going to join. They're just going to join at much higher prices. GBTC is from Grayscale, by the way. And at one stage, they held 630k and now it's down to 230k so there's a lot of sell pressure on this uh it's just like a, it was a terrible hold uh because it just didn't give you like a whole kind of bitcoin or anything like that it was just it was a silly trade to make for anyone that actually jumped in but it offered them some sort of there was a major price premium on it essentially so this is going down and it's going to be replaced with the you know etfs and that sort of stuff ftx bankruptcy is going to push out 15 billion dollars or something along that. And this is, you know, anyone that was using FTX, primarily this was a more difficult exchange than something like Binance. So a lot of those people will probably just deploy that back into the markets, like myself. All right, this here is the fact that quarter four is historically bullish for Bitcoin. It's, you know, you can't just always say that this is going to be the case, but historically it is. September, not so much, but quarter four, October is very green, November and December's a little bit green. And remember, just zoom out and in, into the btc market cycle bottom roi we're still doing fine we're still doing fine we hit that big hit at 60 but we're still doing fine now some big and crazy news and i'm gonna i'm just gonna try and report it as a reporter would without getting into conspiracy theories or anything like that but the telegram founder pavel he was arrested he's a billionaire like worth about 15 billion he was arrested because he went into uh, he flew his private jet into france and he was arrested there now I'm going to get into some other people's tweets on the matter, and I do not want to be attacked by, you know, traditional uh, media or whatever. I'm just, I'm just reporting what's been said. Uh, that's not really for the audience that's watching. It's more for governments. So the real reason for Pavel's arrest is they refuse to give the US a backdoor to spy on Telegram users. That is essentially the thesis. There's other, and this is mentioned in this Carlson Tucker interview. So you can watch this. It'll be linked below. We've also got this. Why is Telegram such a headache for France? And I don't know who this person is, but like it's a theory and it, it probably will hit 
fairly true. So one thing is, I don't know how secure Telegram is. I have no idea if there are no backdoors. I don't think there's any way that we can fully check. They use components of open source technology, but not everything is open source as far as I'm aware. And the reality is we gave up on our proper privacy like 10, 20 years ago. And since then, we just have the illusion of privacy. I'm hoping email clients like Proton are completely private, but I have no like proper knowledge of it. But I would suggest they would be. So essentially, the TLDR is the fact that there are French colonies in Africa, and maybe they get a decent amount of resources or whatever. Not unsure if it's really like this these days, but in the 20th century, certainly the case. And now there's starting to be a big push from China and from Russia coming into here. And, you know, they have military positions. I'm not sure exactly how they're being done. But obviously the goal is this is the most resource rich continent for so many different resources. And it's like the level of exploiting is relatively low, as in, you know, there's so much more industrialization that can come to it. So China's been getting in for quite some time. Now it looks as though Russia's getting in. And one thing is the fact that apparently the Wagner Group, which is a military operation, like private military contractors from Russia, they use Telegram in order to make, I don't know, plans or what have you. And apparently there's also a disinformation campaign taking place. And of course, many people use Telegram as a source of their information. Essentially, I like there's no actual official statement on why this is like this, why he's been arrested. But I would say it would be due to the fact that he's far more, far more pro freedom of speech. And the world, and in particular, like Europe, is becoming a little bit more like, no, we can't talk about freedom of speech. We have to say what, what we're allowed to say. Now, because of all this, we can see that the Tong coin has just jumped off a cliff. So at this point, I don't know if it's going to go lower, but I'm buying some ton here. I haven't played in the ecosystem. I know the ecosystem has a lot of potential. It's currently number 11. And if we have a look, obviously Solana's what I think is going to do the best. But um, for this, maybe this goes like a 6x or 7x right? However, if we have a look at Toncoin, if this does a 6 or 7x, then it's basically coming up to this market cap or a little bit more than what it is currently. So I think it could, it could go higher than that. So I'm buying a little bit of Toncoin at these levels, not financial advice. And here is a little bit of tea in terms of the dip on Ton. A bounce from these levels could lead to a quick recovery. If I buy more than I'm expecting to, then I will just go and sell some to take some profit, and then I'll leave a bit of a moon bag. It's not like I have a huge amount of interest in the tap to earn culture that's happening over there. I see this as a, a good way to bring a lot of people into crypto, but they're primarily people that don't have money. They take an airdrop, they sell it, they cash it out back to their local fiat. It doesn't really stay in and start to generate DeFi returns and such. And this is all that I'm really noticing on this. And I still need to do plenty more research into it. Telegram has, they've gone and put this out saying that they abide by the EU laws. And he has that the CEO, Pavel has nothing to hide and travels frequently in Europe. I didn't even know he was still the CEO. Okay. Uh, it is to claim that a platform or its owner are responsible for abuse of that platform. Almost a billion users globally use telegrams as a means of communication and a source of vital information. Now, next bit of news. Avalanche Discord has been compromised. This is really bad. Really, really bad. So just be very, very mindful. I've got some videos out there on like, you know, how to spot scams. People will only tend to watch them once they've been scammed. So, I'm, so I, I can tell you, go and watch them now. You probably won't, and that's fine. Just keep in mind a couple of things. If something's too good to be true, then it is. It, it basically always is. If someone DMs you with like a job offer and you're, you're, you have no experience in this or you haven't been, it's a cold DM and they're offering you a great rate, it's a scam. If I DM you, like just check my username, it's most likely an impersonator. It's always going to be like that. So just be very, very vigilant with anything that you're doing on Discord and Telegram. It's now being re-secured and will be opened up soon, but I don't plan Avalanche, so it doesn't concern me. Now the Ethereum Foundation have sold the top in both May and November 2021. They're very good at this, uh, but in 2020, they sold um, right before ETH pumped 6X. And last night, they sent another 35 ETH 35,000 ETH to Kraken. This is a couple of days ago, worth 95 million. Uh, interestingly, uh, this is a, someone from the foundation that mentions, you know, they've got like a budget of 100 million per year. I'm just surprised that they just all sell it at once or move to an exchange all at once. That's a little bit strange. I guess I can't even compare to another foundation. I don't know how Solana Foundation does it. Just a little bit strange. And also the fact that if they've got a budget of 100 million, they want to put, they want to kind of clean it through an exchange before they then dish it to people. They don't want it to be tracked on chain. Interesting, fine, but just keep in mind that there's many reasons why it's kind of hard to be like super bullish on the ETH price going up. Let's go to the Notion calendar. So we're on the 26th here, Bonk Dragon, lock bonk to get your latest uh, attribute. 
very important. And the dupe working group progression vote, uh, get that in today. Don't leave it till tomorrow. Just get it in today. It's it's very simple. You just click on this and we normally have the, the links right here. Connect your wallet and go and vote for, you can vote whatever you want, but four is like the smartest thing to do. It just makes sense. Then we've also got our blockchain in Bourbon. This is, I think, an actual meetup uh, somewhere. It looks as though it's in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. And then we've also got this tomorrow reminder, clone protocol closing withdrawal funds before August 27th. It's covered here as well, but unfortunately they are closing down. Make sure you get your funds out. Next bit of news on July 27th or July 28th, I put this into the daily debrief and basically just go and put your BNB address turn on notifications and thank us later dropped a few little gifts to all kittens who replied to this tweet welcome to cat season no idea what the airdrop was and just go and check it hopefully it was a little bit decent maybe it's ten dollars maybe it's twenty dollars who knows now one thing to keep in mind with cat is there's no completely clear way that it will be listed actually on um there's no we we have no certainty that cat will be launched and listed on binance because back in 2020 xrp holders they were given flr which is another token related to Alexa, and they're only able to withdraw same thing could happen with cat just not super super likely also i've just been pinged that um we received two hundred thousand tokens worth five dollars it's five dollars now could be fifty dollars in the future simon's cat i'm i'm not doing exactly what i said i was going to do here like putting through volume on telegram but just things being very, very busy on the weekend. But I'm still holding a chunk on my Simon's Cat token. The market, the market cap has gone up. It's like 30 million or something like that. So nothing's financial advice. But if you wanted some cat, I'd just kind of be dollar cost averaging into it at this stage and just holding a bag, see how it goes. And the one thing is they went and they locked their liquidity for 69 billion years. And then they went and burned all 50 million dollars worth of liquidity. Now, I don't know how this looks on BNB chain, because what I would normally see on Solana is would see 50 million dollars worth of liquidity and there'd be a lock symbol there. We can't see this here. So I don't understand why not. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm hoping they just burnt access to the liquidity, right? They didn't just go and burn the liquidity, but I imagine they just burnt access. But either way, bullish on cap. And as we can see, market caps just come on down a little bit since I was just chatting about it earlier. If it comes down a little bit further, I would like to buy a little bit more because I do think it has proper legs. Remember with the flocky holders, if you've got some flocky, you're going to receive an airdrop. Have a read of this. I'm not going to mention it too many more times. More news in terms of meme coins. Bonk. Look at this. This is, I'm not super familiar with uh, football in Europe or just football, but look, bonk all around the stadium. This is absolutely crazy. And I don't know what the, the value of this team is but i'm pretty sure it's like millions of dollars right like maybe hundreds of millions of dollars 460 million dollars so this is a big deal a proper big deal and the thing is i could be blind but i'm not seeing any other meme coins that are doing this i'm only seeing bonk that's getting amongst sports and sports is such a, a great thing to unite people now the bonk guy has gone and said this they told you political meme coins were dead right now watch them get sidelined as they pull a face melting pump leading to the elections he has such a good amount of calls that I'm just going to just jump into it. Now he's talking Trump meta coins, just to be clear. That's his viewpoint. If you want to go with the other side, fine. Uh, Mega Trump Trump. He's the biggest holder and yet to sell a token. Now Mega, this is like a $16 million market cap. Trump is on ETH. These are both on ETH, I think. And Trump is on Sol. So I've bought a little bit of Trump today and I've just set sell orders just straight to dupe limit orders. They could do exceptionally well. If you've got the conviction, follow him and see what you want to do. If you've got a little bit of stuff on ETH and you want to jump into them, but just remember you want to track the prices. So have alerts or, or use some system so that you can just set limit orders in order to take some profits. Not financial advice on taking profits, just what I personally think is worthwhile. If you have any AI tokens, if they're pumped, this is likely due to the fact that uh, NVIDIA's quarter two earnings release is coming soon. And like, I own a little bit of FET. I'm just going to go and sell some. At this price, it's just pumped 61% in seven days. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. And if anything else in your AI bucket has done very well, like maybe something like NOS, is that kind of related to AI? If you've got some Nasana, if it's gone up in the last seven days considerably, like this to this, you may want to take and book some profits. By the way, um, D Pioneers, the NFT project that you know I mentioned quite a while ago, I'm still holding my D Pioneers. They actually have in their treasury some Nasana as well. So I'm hoping they bought it. I'm hoping they bought it around here. I don't know. You'd have to jump into Discord to find out what price they actually bought that. So that's the AI stuff. There's no there's no pressure for me to sell. Like for, I'm not telling you to sell, but taking some profits could be a good idea. With the Greed Academy, remember if you lock some soul, you can now go and do these lessons. 
if you do all these lessons or as many as possible, you'll get some rewards at the end of all the, all the lessons. And I will actually be contributing to some of these lessons and just in order to try and educate people on stuff and get people to watch it and not be scammed or whatever. Uh, Sonarium, this is Sony's blockchain. It's coming out or there's, we have this teaser in two days. So we'll, we'll follow it and see how it goes. No idea what it's going to do, but we're, we're following it. And the Pathfinder's Mint, this is happening tomorrow. I'm unsure if people said I should actually sell my NFT or if I should mint it. So let me know. Let's go and find Pathfinder's whitelist here. The floor price has dropped down. It's kind of halved. So less demand. But I'm keen to, keen to hear what people think. Let me know in the comments. And also Herman's are minting today. You need a whitelist for this as well. This is the time. So 5 p.m. UK time, which is like uh, 4 p.m. UTC. I like I like Herman's. It's just an IP play. So I'm just going to try and buy one off the actual, uh, like off Tensor or Magic Eden, just because I have no idea. I didn't get whitelist. I could have bought one. I didn't I didn't get into it. NFTs are still very risky, but I like what they're doing. I think it'd be, it'd be cool to be part of the club. Every now and then there's something you just want to be, want to be part of. How will they extract value out of the ecosystem to its holders i don't know and maybe that's not the goal maybe it's just connections either way the branding is pretty cool i think it's worthwhile okay let's have a look at the actionables today so the most important thing of course is the dupe vote it's live in tomorrow 4 p.m utc so do it remove your liquidity and claim rewards on clone probably going to be one of the last times i'm going to mention this but flocky trading bot Buy some cat if you're keen. Watch my video on Flocky Trading. And remember, stake 1 million bonk with bonkrewards.com for 12 months. Airdrop actionables. Same thing here. Flocky on BNB or ETH or on Binance. Um, and if you hold Flocky on Binance, you're getting this 10% of all of the cat has been airdropped to holders just on Binance. Remember, deposit into Camino's Jito Soul Soul Media Pool. And this is just speculation, but stake 20 million bonk with bonkrewards.com. The other thing that you can do, of course, is if you want to get some PYUSD, go and do that. And later today, I should have the next stage of 10K to 100K challenge out as well. So that's all for today. Thanks very much for joining in, and we'll catch you in the next video.